So good morning guys, my name is Ashutosh Swami, team lead in Chess and today's video we will be discussing our project which we made at TechHex 4.0. So this is what we made. We named it Health Ease. What Health is is, is it is a healthcare unit like an ATM. What, what this unit does is we have combined a set of things which together act as a healthcare unit. What we are doing is, we are using MAX 30102 sensor. This sensor is capable of sensing the heart rate and SpO2 by use of infrared technology or specifically it is called NIR or Near Infrared Reflectivity Technology. So what we did is, we used an old phone to act as a display. As you can see, it shows enter a coin. Uh, basically, we are showed the demo and everything is disconnected now. But uh, to tell you how it is working, what we have done is, this is an ESP32 module. This has Wi-Fi inbuilt and my Android phone also has Wi-Fi inbuilt. What we have done is, we established the communication between these two devices using web sockets. If a new user was found, uh, dynamically a model would appear here for his usernames and things. So consider it as a display. I will put it at side now. So a new user came. He entered his data from the display. Now we open this door. It is a door. So why this door is here? This is a door we salvaged it from an old projector. The purpose of this door is to encapsulate the sensor from outside. You know it is a public facing thing. It will be placed in public places. So there are multiple things which can affect the sensor and its security. There can be dust, there can be water and to prevent this we have used this door. Whenever the sensor is ready it opens the door. User places his finger inside uh, in this way and it scans that. So suppose there is a new user. He came, he inserted a coin. Assume this is the coin switching mechanism, a coin is inserted and this switch is triggered. A new user came, he inserted the coin, then the machine will tell him to enter his data from this display. He will place his finger here. After the calculation is done, he will send the data over to his mobile number. This is a SIM 800 GSM module. As you can see, there is a SIM card inside. This module is capable of sending text messages and so the user will have his data on his mobile number. So I can show you an example of that. Let's just test it right now. So as you may see, everything is initialized. It is initialized the sensor, the coin switch, the buzzer and everything is set it up now. So let us assume it was a new user, he entered, he inserted his data on the display and everything is ready now. He will place his finger here. Basically it is inserted like this but I am placing like this because we have the data of the user. Here is the heart rate which is 85, quite accurate. This is the SpO2, 97.62, quite accurate. And the glucose level. So now that was a case for a new user. Now let's suppose there is a registered user. He frequently uses our service. So what we will do is we will assign these type of RFID cards to the user. What the user will need to do is to tap the card. His data will be fetched automatically by the card because the card carries his data. He only will need to place his finger on the sensor and everything will be sent to his mobile because the registered user will have the feature of cloud storage. His data will be synced across devices on the back end. So now let's see how the flow will work for a registered user. If the user is registered, he will tap the card. As you can see, the door has opened instantly. Please enter your mobile number to get reports and advice. Yeah, it played a prompt depending on the situation. And the message has been sent. As you can see in the serial console, the message has been sent to the user. Now, I will show you the message in this video itself. So this is the mobile phone we are using. And you may hear that. After opening that, here, as you can see, there is a message from Healthies. We will open this. It is saying that, hi there, thank you for using Healthies. Data, location, time, heart rate, and SpO2. Also, there is another thing. You can use this link. It is dynamically generated for each user. This link contains his data. 